Carl, thanks very much. Yes, I am here in Jackson Hole with Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker, something of a tradition we started a few years ago <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. interrupted by the pandemic. And here we go again. I want to start off with one of the big questions that's out there, uh, Patrick, which is this idea that we have had fairly strong growth, growth at potential or even above. The third mm -hmm. quarter looks very strong. And yet we've had declining inflation, yeah. which is sort of like not what the theory tells us should happen. I guess my first question is, is that a problem that you think has to be leaned against with policy? No, I don't think so at this point. I mean, we clearly have to deal with inflation, and we are. We have a restrictive stance, in my view, and we'll, we should keep it there for a while. We can talk about that. But in terms of uh, GDP growth and low inflation, low unemployment, where have we seen this before? Before the pandemic. Okay. So yeah, there are models, but then there's the, what we've experienced in the past. We've experienced this situation. So is it possible that we can get back to there, that situation? Yes, I think so. Um, the idea, though, was that you need to have, and, and uh, Chair Powell said this last year right here. He goes, mm -hmm. we, ha we likely are going to require a period of um, below potential growth to bring down inflation. What do you think is happening in the economy that is allowing the growth to remain at or above trend, but also inflation to come down? So I think a couple things are uh, causing this. One is we are probably seeing a little uptick in labor productivity. We're hearing that from some of our, you know, we'll see how the data plays out. We're not mm -hmm. completely clear on that. Um, but otherwise, again, the, the situation was there before. <laughs> so what were we seeing in, 19, in 2019? I mean, roll that forward to today. You know, those same dynamics that were in play then can be in play now. Let's talk about some of the, uh, I guess we could go headwinds or tailwinds first to the economy. I guess we'll start off yeah. with the headwinds. How much concern do you have about tightening of bank credit standards and the impact on the economy? Yeah, so I've been out and about in my district a lot this mm -hmm. summer, talking to community bankers, business leaders. There clearly is a tightening of credit. It starts with banks saying, you know, new customer, I'm going to hold my liquidity for my existing customer. Right. We're hearing that a lot. So how deep that goes, we don't know yet, but there's clearly been a tightening. What about when it comes to higher interest rates right now, the recent surge in, ten, in the 10-year yield? Yeah. Is that something that causes you concern for the economy? Or it helps. It helps cool the economy some. Mm -hmm. you know, it could go both ways. So at this point, I'm not overly concerned about that uh, because, you know, there are a lot of factors that go into the yield curve beyond monetary policy right. and global markets and so forth. So I'm not concerned about it right now, but it's something I'm clearly watching. What about credit card delinquencies yeah. on the consumer? What are you hearing about that? They are starting to tick up. Our Consumer Finance Institute tracks this very carefully. Um, they're ticking up, but they're still not beyond where we were pre-pandemic. Now, mm -hmm. if it gets worse than that, then we start to worry. What about the consumer you're hearing? Are they, are they yeah. slowing down? Yeah, yeah. The low-income consumer is clearly slowing down. I was talking to, in, when I was out and about this summer, um, one of the major suppliers to go back to school market, and he's seeing a softening of demand. So we are starting to see some things soften. So I guess we'll get to the policy thing in a second. It sounds to me like you believe this recent spurt of growth we've had is going to be temporary. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we have to look through one quarter. Even, sure. Do you, you, you know, expecting a slowdown in the economy? Eventually, yeah. We're looking at us going back to trend growth mm -hmm. at 2%. It's going to take a couple of years, maybe, uh, or even sooner. We're seeing inflation coming down mm -hmm. under 4% this year, then 3%, then 2% in 2025. It's going to take time as well. So let's turn to policy now. Have you done enough? We'll see. We'll let the next couple of weeks play out in terms of data. But right now, I think that we've probably done enough. Because we have two things going on, right? Both the Fed funds rate increases. Mm -hmm. They are at a restrictive level. So let's keep them there for a while. And also, we are continuing to shrink our balance sheet. And that, is, that is also removing accommodation.